Welcome to the fifth episode of the First Time Home Buyer series. My name is Jain Lindo, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about step number five, which is selecting your perfect house. So, fun fact and side note I'm on the Perfect House team, and we're a part of the real estate group. So, when we talk about selecting the home, we like to say you selected your perfect house. So, just a side note, fun fact. All right, so we spoke about touring homes in the last episode, which, like I said, that's one of my favorite parts in this process. So let's say you've been looking for a few weeks, it's been a few months, but you finally found the one. This is the one you know you want to move forward, you're ready to take the next step. That next step is writing and submitting an offer, but before we do that, we have to have an honest con conversation. So first thing we do, weigh the pros versus the cons. So my job as an agent is to do some research on a property, look at the remarks on the listing, ask the agent, the listing agent questions if I need to, if nothing is in those remarks um, regarding things that I'm concerned about or that you're concerned about, and that way we can have an honest conversation. So we look for three things, not in total, but three main things um, which can make a huge difference in a decision. And those three things are HVAC, so your heating and cooling, the roof, and windows. So those three things can cost a lot of money if you have to end up fixing them around the same time. So we try to avoid that, obviously. And of course, like I said before, there's other things that we'll consider, you know, looking at the foundation of the home, you know, are there cracks in there? Is the settlement okay? Um, if it has a pool, we're looking at the age of the pool liner because we want to avoid you having to replace that a year after getting the home. So all those things we look at to weigh the pros versus the cons. So let's say, Pros, it's outweighing the cons, everything looks good, it's checking off a lot of boxes. And let's say the only concern is, well, you know, the roof is 15 years old, so, you know, we may have to replace it in the next five to 10 years, depending on the lifespan of the roof and the condition of the roof. That's not too bad. You know, if you're planning on staying in a home for 10 to 15 years, that's not too bad. And when it's time to sell, you'll have a brand new roof on there probably, and that will help in getting that home sold for top dollar. But if the cons outweigh the pros, and let's say new roof needed, age, new age back needed in five years, windows are 20 years old and they need to be replaced in five years, then I would probably say, you know what, I know you love this home, I know this seems like the right one, but I wouldn't recommend you getting this home because it's going to cost you X amount to do all these repairs and when it's time to sell, you may not get your money back for this you may not sell it for a profit or to break even and those are the honest conversations that i have with my clients because at the end of the day it's about you it's not about me so that's a step in the process that can be difficult um, but transparency is best so what we'll do then is have that conversation we weigh the pros versus the cons if the pros outweigh the cons then we can move forward to the next step which is writing and submitting an offer so if you feel good about it say Jain, I think this is good. We feel comfortable with the conversation. We're ready to move forward. That's the next step. And we'll talk about that in the next episode. And I hope you found this helpful. If you found this helpful, please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the like button if you're watching this on YouTube as well or on Facebook, Instagram. Please like it if you found this helpful. Share it with whoever you think would benefit from this. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned for the next episode.